Yo, what is up guys, Bigginets here, and today I'm going to show you how to make this Habrent GRBR work on Windows 8. So, first things first, you need the Habrent capture card, of course. And you're going to need three cables. Uh, two of them come with uh, your Habrent, and one comes with your Xbox. So, you're going to need the plug-in cables and the power cable to power your Habrent to plug into your computer. Okay guys, so what you want to do first is you want to get the plug-in cable for your Xbox that comes with your Xbox and plug this side to the back of your Xbox. Mine's right here. You just simply just plug it in. That's it. You just plug it in. That's the first step. Alright guys, um, next step, you want to get the power cable for your saber and plug this part to the back of your saber which would be the opposite side of where you plug in the cords to your Xbox. And then you plug in the other side of the cord, the USB, and you just plug it into any uh, USB port on your computer. Yo, what's up guys? Now I'm on my computer here. So if you completed all the steps, good job. Now, now to this is probably the hardest part of this video, but I'm going to try to get um, narrow it down so you guys can get it right. So I'm going to explain why the Sabre doesn't work on Windows 8. So basically when you on your computer, Windows 8, Microsoft has it where you can only download drivers that are certified by them. So basically you can't download download any driver and get it to work if you download from any website that's not by Microsoft. Okay? So what I did is I went to my settings and I changed the drivers where I can uh the the settings for the drivers where I can download any kind of driver from anywhere I wanted. And that basically um, brought my life to my saber and that's how I got it to work unfortunately on my recording program I can't show you guys how to do it because I have to reset my not reset um, restart my computer and it'll end the program so I'll show you guys on my camera but yeah so this is the most important part so please pay attention and right here I have notes these are instructions exactly how to disable the driver signature enforcement which is where Microsoft forces you to download their kind of their drivers Okay, so the first thing you want to do, I'll show you guys until I have to restart. So first thing you want to do is you want you want to change your PC settings general, and then right here is where I can show you guys farther than that, and I'll show you my camera. So here I'll show you guys. So you want to go to settings, and then you want to change PC settings. You want to go to general, and then advanced startup, and after restart it, and this is where it ends the program. So. This is as far as I'll get, and I'll show you guys the rest of my camera. Yo, what's up, guys? So I'm on the screen after I um, restart my computer. So first thing is you want to click on Troubleshoot. Next, you want to click on Advanced Options, and you want to go to Startup Settings. And right here, it's going to show you Disable Driver Signature Enforcement. And yes, you want that. And then you click on Restart. And it's going to restart your computer, and it's going to bring it to a new screen. Yo, what's up guys, so after you're on this screen now, you're going to have to press some number keys or function keys, whatever, your choice. I personally chose number keys, but you're going to have to choose one of these options, and what you want is actually number 7. So all you have to do is choose number 7 or function 7. And then after you press 7, uh, your computer should restart. Okay, so what this does, it disables uh, the enforcement of drivers. So basically now you can use any driver you want, which is what you need to get your saving to work. Alright, what's up guys? So if you guys made it this far, congratulations. So if everything went right before my previous steps, everything should work now. So this is the easy part. So on when you get your um, your Sabrent in the box, it should be this disc. And what you want to do is you want to install this disc because there's a program in it. And what you want to do is you want to open the program which is right here, I don't think you guys can see it and it should open up and you want to go to options and then you want to go to video device and you want to make sure it's highlighted on Sabrent this is, it'll probably be on your webcam but you want it on your Sabrent and these are the options I use guys to get the best quality I can out there and then you just click OK and by the way, I don't just use uh, this program here I use Sony Vegas Pro 12 uh, to maximize my quality guys it's amazing and so 
So next thing is these these um, lines here. It indicates that your Sabre is connected properly. So all you have to do is turn on your Xbox in a couple seconds. Boom, start working with color and everything. So yeah guys, this is the Sabre and GRBR capture card working on Windows 8 guys. And I just want to do a quick review on the Sabre. Uh, I spent $18 on this. And guys, this is this is pretty awesome. For 20 bucks, this is a really good quality. And it's actually perfect for a beginner. I do recommend this. Okay guys, and right here. And this is it. Sabre and working. And all you have to do if you want to record something is you just got to click on record. You record something. And then you want to go to stop. And then your video should be here. And that's it. That's how you capture the video. Anyways, guys, if you guys could please leave a like, comment, and if you guys can subscribe, it would be awesome. Thank you guys for watching. And if anybody else out there is struggling to get their Sabre to work, please share them this video so you can cut them some slack. Anyways, thanks, guys, for watching.